what's up everyone this is Sly Tiger with Sly Tiger Survival and I'm doing this video for dudes that are thinking about jumping into an NPAP or a Wasser or a IO interordinance AK rifle <laughs> an AK is a rifle but you know what I mean um I know it's kind of weird because a lot of um dudes will check out forums and do internet searches and sometimes they'll pop up on YouTube and I know how forums can be. Some of the forums uh, have turned into denizens of fucktards with bad attitudes that anyone that asks a legit question is uh, treated like shit. And so anyway, I'm trying to give you some good information. If you're interested in one of these, I wouldn't mess with the... Uh, the IO, you can go to uh, DDI. You might like some of those, but um, I would go with a Wasser if you're just wanting to add a bunch of shit, possibly, and don't know much about AKs. I'm telling you, just make sure um, to get it from Atlantic Firearms or JNG Cells and put a note to check for straightness of the uh, rifle. And usually, Atlantic Firearms won't fuck someone over. But, um, there's a few things you might want to know. And each rifle, I would say, for durability, this one will be a little bit better due to the chrome line barrel. And dudes will be like, oh, this cold hammer forged barrel, you'll never shoot it out. I, I don't think that's true. I don't hear a lot of people shooting them out. But, um, I do shoot a lot. And I think if you jump into the AKs and realize how cheap the ammo is which is probably why you're looking at them you'll probably end up shooting a lot over the course of a few years but all aside um, if you're just looking for a straight up standard no nonsense AK I think you'll like the Wasser but if you're looking for a folding stock the uh, fixed stocks on the NPAPs are horrible and it is not just regurgitation about the cheek slap it really does cause cheek slap <clears throat> the the fit and finish on these I think um, are even nicer than my Vepr I believe this is Stava rifles now don't get the M70s because they'll have some US parts there's a difference between the NPAPs and the M70s from Century Arms I do have an M70 AB2 underfolder and that thing is a tank but I think you'd be more satisfied if you're getting your first rifle to get a an imported rifle. So what is what does the NPAP offer that the Wasser doesn't? I would say the NPAP the NPAP is better for folding stocks because you don't have to this was the thumb hole stock double stack mags for 469 bucks I believe I got it from classic firearms now if you look at the back of these they have a tang and uh, some people cut these tangs off to add folding stocks and with the NPAP all you have to do is get the adapter plate from Krebs custom and you can add these folding stocks the under folders are really nice the NPAP under folders are really nice um, but the for fit and finish and you could still find a lot of aftermarket parts compared to the C39 I have but for fit and finish and maybe adding a folding stock these things are awesome and you can get them for cheap now a lot of people are acting like they're tactically uncool because of a few um, bad apples out of the NPAPs but these are really high quality rifles. I would plan on getting another Zestava, the M77 308 for their $500 308 battle rifles and they have an adjustable um, gas system up there. But I, I really like these Yugos. But these things these things are little tanks and and they they last a long time. The, these things can have insane amounts of rounds shot through the barrels from what I've been reading 
I haven't shot this but one time, but I know they these have been around for a while and they keep getting better and better. The, this is a new production Wasser 10. This is what you'll get with either one of these. You'll get at least one magazine, maybe two. You'll get a um, maybe a sling and a cleaning kit. Some of them are hard as fuck to open, and uh, put. I always put a note in there for cleaning rods because I like the way they look with the cleaning rods. But um, as far as maybe a good shit, it's a fan rifle option. I think the Wasser might be a little bit better because of the chrome line barrel. Some people dispute that, but I think a chrome line barrel is good. I ordered an AK Builder aftermarket barrel for my impacts or my M70 or my NPAP should I shoot one out but um, they do have chrome line barrels for them now. But uh, if you're going to want a folding stock or an underfolder, I'd say the NPAPs are the way to go. If you're just wanting a beast rifle that's good for aftermarket parts and um, the Magpul Zhukov shit's all tailored for these rifles, these things are awesome. So you really can't go wrong with either one. If you get the Wasser, you'll be happy. If you get the Impaps, you'll also be happy. But it's going to, these are almost like a budget arsenal. The Impaps, the fit and finish are nice. But um, you'll be spending a little bit more money if you do decide to do the folding stock route. You've got the Ace folding stocks. I believe the storm works I could be wrong I know of the ace and this is a manticore arms triangle folding stock that I think looks pretty cool the ace folding stock looks like a galil stock so and the ace folding stocks have different lengths and stuff they're lighter but this is not heavy I'm telling you and it's really cool you could switch it to either side that you want and uh, I kind of wish I put it on the other side because of this sling thing so I'm now trying to find out a decent s solution to add a sling. That's why it doesn't have a sling on there. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. This is Sly Tiger. Take care.